And to make that happen, I'm gonna go ahead and just, well, let's see here, let's add a null here. It's always a good idea to drop a null right here in the end. I'm gonna call it null final, excellent. I'm gonna turn on its display so we can see it here in the background, so we can see this a little bit better. I'm gonna scoop my level over, I'm gonna scoop my feedback over. Actually, let's make a little bit of room here between our feedback and our level. And what I want to do in addition to um, tr kind of drawing down the opacity every time we go through this feedback loop, I also want to go ahead and soften up my texture a little bit. I want to blur this a little. So now I'm, like, I'm getting closer to this kind of smoky, traily kind of situation. I've still got some kind of like pops in there a little bit if I move real fast. But it's starting to feel more like what I'm after. And we're gonna come back to this even more. So this is pretty nice, right? Like we could feel pretty good about this so far, except we're still missing what might be some kind of interesting plays with this, right? Our blur is taking us uh, kind of completely in this kind of uh, blown out space, right? Like we blur in all directions. So it's just soft, but it doesn't necessarily feel like it has any movement to it. And that's okay. We can uh, we can push on that a little bit. Let's go ahead and scoot our level over here a little bit. And in this case, let's add a transform. Transforming in a feedback loop is one of my favorite things to do because it is it produces results that are sometimes unexpected, sometimes really beautiful. Uh, it does all sorts of really fun, exciting things that you might not necessarily expect. So here, what we're gonna do is, um, what we wanna do on our transform is we wanna take a look at our scale. So on our scale, I wanna just go ahead and scale that in the Y dimension to 1.01. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna expand, right, what's going on here in our, uh, in our texture every frame. So it creates this nice kind of vertical space. Right, if you want to see an even more, even more exaggerated kind of look at that, you could push even harder on this. Right, the harder you push on it, the more you're going to see our points separate. So, you know, depending on the kind of effect that you're after, you might try to keep that fairly tight. But you could push really hard if you want this kind of smoky, explodey kind of quality. Maybe you don't want to ha have that happen in the Y dimension, right? Maybe instead you want that to happen in the X dimension. And now here we can see that we get this nice kind of uh, glowy, blowy kind of situation that shows up. That's also really fun. You know, you might choose to drive it at kind of that effect. You might want to rotate what's going on here. Now, a little bit of rotation goes an awful long way. So, you know, you might just want to think about this being like a degree of rotation every frame, right? That gives you a nice kind of tumbly, turny kind of situation that can be kind of vertigo inspiring. Another fun thing you might think about if in our translate, we change this, change this to pixels and we go just to the right one pixel. Right, so now everything trails over to the right-hand side. We could push that even harder, right? So we could create the effect of some like, wind kind of blowing against us. Now that feels like it might be a little bit too strong, so we might turn that down a little bit, but we could get away with an awful lot there in terms of creating this kind of horizontal wind kind of effect. We could do the same thing with our vertical space. Now in this case, you know, this is a diagonal, right? Because you're going over to the right five and then up five every frame. But we could go just up, we could go just down. We could do uh, any number of kinds of things here. We could even combine these if we want to play with some of that a little bit more, right? So what if we moved and translated, or excuse me, and rotated? So this is a kind of combination of translation and rotation. And we can see there's lots of ways to experiment 
with what that might be. And that really comes down to the kind of effect you're after. Today, I am going to just uh, kind of move us back to where we started with. And I'm after something that looks like this. 1.01. 1 .01. There we go. That's where I want to start. 